So you're a guy who's been hurt. You've been burned in the past. You feel like you've picked teams and they've just always let you down whenever you pick them. And then you said, you're off. You're done. Never doing it again. But we have Sunday night football. And that team that's burned you so many times in the past, hurt their fans, has that, you know, super fan that was on Pat McAfee. Maybe she's is maybe a 13 year old that has aged so much that she looks like she's 40 from watching the Chargers. You have a friend who's your age, 25, who's balding now because he watches the Chargers. Now people think he's a cop and he has to live with that. And then you have your friend who's in Los Angeles. He's losing weight watching the chargers maybe he picked up a cigarette addiction we don't know there and i can't imagine it's gonna build when they go out there and lose to tyson badgett yeah i mean <laughs> an eight point spread eight and a half points this is the second biggest spread this week which is crazy and it's crazy is that i think there was some music in the rafters at sofi stadium um after my heartful breakdown of the top uh five terrible teams and that was of to the liking of 2018 hit song "Let You Down" by our our fan of the show NF. And you know, <laughs> yeah. NF might say that he's sorry that I let you down, but the Chargers haven't. Just, the Chargers <laughs> haven't. They haven't sent me an apology letter. They haven't given me any uh, balding cream for my friend, um, or um, some Nicorette's gum to get rid of that cigarette addiction that our old friend Vuj has picked up from there. So the Chargers. You know, you would think, you know, if we were previewing this game in the offseason, we'd say, well, the lowly Bears, oh, how could, you know, the Chargers, Khalil Mack, Sebastian Joseph Day, at the, at the time, J.C. Jackson against Mike Williams, jo you know, Keenan Allen and Justin Herbert, who some proclaim is a top five quarterback. <laughs> but we have played seven weeks of football. We are now on week eight. And. Um, well, the Bears have just as many wins as they do, and that was one with a Division II undrafted rookie. That is Tyson Badgett. And who would I rather have in this game currently, Tyson Badgett or Justin Herbert? Well, this is obvious here. Tyson Badgett, obviously. <laughs> um, he beat the lowly Raiders, and he's about to beat the lowly Chargers on primetime. Yeah. And DJ Moore, he's been a great fit for the, the Bears when they get him the ball. And Tyson Badgett can throw the ball, unlike another quarterback in chicago um so <laughs> wow you know maybe i've drinking a lot of kool-aid maybe i have a sugar high who knows but all i know is that i'm tired of getting burned i'm tired of being humiliated and um you know i gotta pick the bears in this game which is hilarious because <laughs> i never thought i'd pick the bears again they are an annual recipient on the lowly worst top five teams but the chargers they love to break their hearts it's like you know I think, you know, maybe they're alluding to the Kanye West hit. Maybe they're heartless. Yeah. Um, but I can't pick the Chargers. They just burn me all the time. They kick me in the balls and they just make me feel a certain way that I just don't like feeling. Yeah, they make you feel a certain type of way you can't help feeling. And then prime time on Thursday night football, the Chicago Bears went out there and had their best game. DJ Moore goes out there and plays electric but it also introduced to the mainstream of nfl fans something i've been show saying on the show repeatedly is cole Komet is the man cole Komet is a luxury he is six foot five 263 pounds an absolute monster tyson badgett didn't even have to find him too much to win that game versus the raiders and they won that game handedly and guess what the chargers were very competitive versus the raiders they're competitive versus the Vikings. And I just think Tyson Badgett will be able to come in there and play a great game versus the Chargers. And then this is going to be the Cole Komet game. This is going to be yet national tight ends game. He owes Cole Komet a few touchdowns from last week. He owes him kind of a kind of a sorry i didn't find you on that day i was too busy looking at dante hightower because sorry was, that i let you down yeah he's sorry that he let you down so the chargers well they repeatedly let their fans down and honestly if i'm going the two best weapons on the team i would take the bears dj moore and cole Komet over eckler and keenan allen at this moment i know those guys are better and should be better but justin herbert finds a way to keep every single game close. These are two coaches that have had some questionable calls. Matt Eberflus kind of pulled back after that fourth down call when he went for it, when he ran the ball. But I just think 
This is a game the Chargers are going to find a way to blow. They can't blow anyone out. They only scored 17 points last week, albeit against the Chiefs. But this is just a game you look at like the Chargers should win this game. But with Tyson Badgett, there's not a ton of film on him. He looked confident. He looks the part. No one expects anything from him. So there's nothing that really harms him from going out there and sucking. Like no one expected him to be in the NFL. And he only has upward mobility from here.